This is Indochina today. No longer is the fighting there a mere skirmish with terrorists, it is war. French paratroops drop into Dien Bien Phu, the very center of the conflict. The situation at this fortress camp clearly indicates how the pattern of the fighting has changed. American planes, guns and ammunition are helping the French and Vietnam forces. Russian and Chinese weapons are aiding the Viet Minh. Thus, the clash is between East and West, and the prize is no longer just Indochina, but all Southeast Asia. In Dien Bien Phu, the biggest battle of the war is on. Four of the communists' seven regular divisions hammer the French defenders by day and night. Colonel de Castries, the French garrison commander, has ordered his men to die rather than retreat. Heavy losses in Indochina are having their repercussions in France, adding to other factors which threaten the government. Hundreds of veterans of the Indochina campaign hold a memorial service to their dead comrades at the unknown soldier's tomb under the Arc de Triomphe. The recent dismissal of Marcel Juin, who attacked the European defense community, has caused much criticism by ex-servicemen of Prime Minister Laniel and Defense Minister Pleven. While the ceremony continues in Paris, at the village of Ambo in Normandy, Marshal Juin attends his brother-in-law's funeral. The Marshal, who is an outspoken opponent of German rearmament, recently made a controversial public speech without permission. Ultimately, this led to his dismissal from his French military posts. Following the service in Paris, hundreds of Juin sympathizers stage a violent demonstration against the Premier and his fellow ministers. Shouting, Vive Joie, the mob punch and kick Monsieur Pleven as he struggles to his car. Most French people, if not so vehement as the rioters, are against the dismissal of Marcel Joie, one of the country's most esteemed figures. This, plus a growing anger at the losses in the Indochina war, may seriously weaken the government's chances of survival.